All right, hi guys. So I'm going to be doing a comparing numbers lesson. And when we are doing um, comparing numbers, we are always using those three symbols that we first started out learning, I think in first grade is when they're first introduced. So let's just kind of quickly review that. So the three symbols that we would use when comparing numbers is greater than, which means that the open part of the symbol is eating the larger number. Then we have less than, where the pointy end of it right here would be facing the smaller number and the open mouth is facing the larger number. And that is used when the numbers are, you know, they can be on each side. And then we have the equal to symbol, which means that the digits are all equivalent to each other. And this one will come into play mostly when we are comparing a standard form number with say an expanded form number or a word form number. And we saw a lot of those at the beginning of the year. Um, so we're just going to get started here. I'm sorry, I'm like breathing heavily. It's kind of hot in here and I don't want to mess with the air conditioning. Um, so I have two numbers that I wrote in standard form, 3,267 and 3,627. So something that we note might notice about these two numbers is that this, all of the digits are the same. I did not use different numbers. So the digits within these numbers are all the same, but they're not in the same order. So in order to kind of figure out how to compare this, we have to compare each place with each, um, each place with each other. So I have told you guys multiple times that when I was in elementary school, math was my least favorite subject. I just, just made me really anxious and I would cry at home a lot because I would just be like, I'm so bad at math. But what was actually the truth is that I was really hard on myself and I would get nervous and I would kind of zone out in class when my teacher would be talking. So she was not understanding and I remember this specifically because I was really upset at first. I thought I was in trouble and I was, I was having the stay night recess, but she had finally figured out a way to help me figure out numbers. And I understood place value, like she could give me expanded form, word form, all of that, and I would know exactly what she was talking about. But when it came to something like this, I would just like freeze for some reason. So there's a little bit about me. And I will assure you now I could look at these two numbers and I can tell you right away which one is bigger than the other. But when I was a kid, when I was your guys' age, it was really hard for me. So some of you may be able to look at these two and you're like, oh, I already know that. And you write the symbol and you'll move on. Some though were like me, are like me when I was a kid and they struggle a little bit. So my teacher sat me down and she's like, here's something that I think might work for you. So I have my first number here and my second number here. She said, take that second number and line it up right underneath the other number. So I'm gonna take 3,627 and I'm gonna put it right underneath my other number. So my digits are lined up the best that they can be. And typically we are working from right to left, but when you're doing this, it's good to work from left to right. So I'm going to start in the thousands place. So I have a three in the thousands place for both numbers. So if I have a three in the thousands place for both numbers, can I use that place to figure out which one is bigger? I can't because they're both the same. So I have to move on to the hundreds place. Now we're in the hundreds place and I see that in the hundreds place, this number has a two in it, which is equivalent to 200. And this number has a six in it, which is equivalent to 600. Right there, that gives me my answer. Because although our three in the thousands place is the same, when we move to the hundreds place, we are already given a digit that tells us that 3,627 is our larger number. So 3,267 is less than 3,627. Now here's something that I want you guys to think about. If I had moved from right to left, I could have confused myself and here's why. So I'm just going to use like a simple, like a smaller number, not necessarily a simple number. So I have 127 and 364. If I had gone from right to left, I would say, oh, 127. That has a seven in the ones place. And this other number has a four in the ones place. So this one's bigger. Is that true? Not at all. 
So it's really important to go from left to right when you're comparing numbers. Um, just because it gives you the opportunity to um, really see. And I like to stack numbers, and I can, again, I don't need to do that anymore. But for those who get stuck on that part, sometimes it's good. So I'm going to give it another one that I remember kind of was difficult for us. I'm going to actually use the same 3,627. So we have to figure out if that is greater than, less than, or equal to this. Hopefully we can kind of see that. So now I have a number in standard form and then a number in expanded form. So another um, solution that my teacher gave me to this issue is like, don't look at it and think that you can only use this right here to do it. What could you do with 3,000 plus 600 plus 20 plus seven? Put it together, create a standard form number. So. I like to start again. I like to start when I'm making going from expanded form to standard form. I always start from the right, which I know is a little bit tricky. So seven in the ones place, 20, the value of 20. So that means if 20 is in, is in the tens place, that means that the value is 20, but the digit is two, 600, oh, 3,000. And you also could stack it like this if you want to, as long as you are lining up your place values. You could also do this if that's what you want. But now we are given the number 3,627 to compare to 3,627. And that way that tells us that, oh, they are the same despite looking different. Just because it's an expanded form doesn't mean that the number is different. So I remember that was kind of a struggle. Um, there's also some word form ones that I'm not gonna give examples of. I'm actually gonna look really quick at um, the stuff for comparing numbers because I'm pretty sure that we gave you a page that just had some numbers on it and it was, yeah. So if you can kind of see. This would be your comparing multi-digit numbers right here. So this would be a good way for you to either stack numbers if you wanted to, or compare them digit by digit. So this one says 40,404 and then 40,040. So if you're going to not stack it, you're just gonna look at it, it's still important to go through to make sure because like, okay, so they both have a four in the 10 thousands place. They both have a zero in the thousands place. Then we go to the hundreds place. This one has a four and this one has a zero. So now we know that this one is already going to be bigger because there are larger digits in the uh, value, the place values. So if you get confused, again, just let me know and I can help you out. Um, again, use that stacking method if you're getting stuck. And don't forget that your parents were given an answer sheet. So rather than um, just assume that you got them all right, when you're done, you could have your parent or an older sibling or somebody check your work and then you can fix the ones that you got wrong. That also helps you learn. Um, again, any questions, let me know.